Good evening, everyone. Um, kind of been an interesting day. Um, I, it's, it was, you know, this spectacular day, most of the day. Today was my big acupuncture day, and I was very excited about that. And it was our big shopping trip for the month. And, um, was feeling like a tiredish, but, and having some AGS symptoms after having the acupuncture, which I, you know, felt like was my body starting to purge, um, or get rid of the AGS, um, and, um, had a good time shopping, uh, just, you know, never felt in lack or anything like that. And um, while we were driving from one store to another, when we were about done, I got my blood work back um, and my iron is still low, amazingly, after um, this blood test that I had yesterday, which for going into the end of pregnancy and stuff is not the best. I can still home birth, um, which is fantastic, but, um, I'd really like to get it up to be healthy and optimal, um, ideal or whatever. And, um, so kind of the race is on and I, I immediately called the hospital midwives and to try to get that ball rolling, um, I've been looking forward to going up to Indianapolis where we're originally from and spending time with my parents and uh, sisterhood circle and everything and uh, for the full moon and uh, I am supposed to have uh, past life regression hypnosis which I was and am very excited for because I don't know how things are going to turn out and um, I spoke to my home birth midwife and she, you know, said she's talked to another midwife and their recommendation would be actually to have five of the transfusions that I had previously, <laughs> um, in like the span of two weeks or so, um, which was shocking and, um, and scary. There's a lot of emotions with that because I felt so crappy after the last one. And I know that part of that is probably the alpha gal syndrome, um, probably more than anything. Um, but that it's still scary to think about feeling that bad again. And plus having to manage and navigate all of the food choices and stuff like that. Um, and so that was, it, it was just hard. And, um, I, you know, really broke down because that's just where I'm at in the moment. Um, and I, I still, no matter what, don't feel like there's anything wrong with feeling the emotions that I am. Um, and I wasn't looking to like get back to, like, I do want to get back to feeling how I felt this morning when I was going to the acupuncture. Oh, and I should mention while we were pulling in the driveway, um, I was like, I don't know, something doesn't feel, you know, like, doesn't feel right, and went like that, and my husband looked, and my acupuncture needle had somehow fallen out, and so it wasn't even in for 12 hours, um, which was, you know, like, there's all these things that just boom, and boom, and boom, and boom, and how much can you handle, and, um, so I kind of broke down a little bit my husband, you know, was trying to help and my husband's a very logic person and I'm a very emotional person. So sometimes logic and emotion don't sync up well. Um, because as he will say, logic tells you what you need to hear, not necessarily what you want to hear. Um, so, um, was just kind of sitting in my chair and was <laughs> doom scrolling and put my phone down. I was like, this is not what I need. And I know I don't need this. So what do I need? 
I need to think back to how I felt this morning. And I started to do that. And then the realization kind of came to me that um, everything happens for a reason. And I've said that countless times. And I look back now and I know that Alpha Gal happening to me was a really good thing and it has opened me to such a larger and more experienced and enriched life. And so I was like, okay, I can't control this. I, you know, I've tried to help my iron and stuff, but obviously that's not going to, it hasn't worked. And there's some reason that I need to have more infusions and I need to just trust in that because at the end of the day, um, sorry, animals, <laughs> at the end of the day, go on, at the end of the day, I need to just surrender to the experience. And can I surrender to the experience? And I'm kind of like, you're asking bigly things of me because I could surrender and they might have an appointment available Monday for an infusion and then I might not be able to go to Indianapolis like I had planned and that makes me sad because I wanted to see all of these beautiful women that I love to do things with and I wanted to have this hypnosis experience and stuff and um, but then I just keep coming back to everything's happening for a reason and there must be some reason why I'm this is happening and this is shifting and there has to be some reason that the acupuncture needle fell out and can you just trust and surrender in that that it's somehow setting up the next thing that the universe is wanting to do for me and you know kind of sat with that and Ego is really sitting there going, oh no, like we need to sit here and really be miserable about this. And then I'm just like, well, why am I going to be miserable about this? Because I, like everything that's happened to date has continued to prove to me, has continued to prove to me rather that no, there's no accidents, there's no coincidences, there's no nothing. And so, why am I fighting this so hard? Yes, I, you know, I have wants and needs and things, but I know when I surrender and just go with the flow, and I, I go back to that raft analogy that Lori Ladd had, am I riding the wave or am I fighting it? Well, man, I don't want to sit here and fight it. That's just worthless, wasted energy. And so I'm kind of like, ah, oh, I need to surrender. And I was coming out to do a video because I think sometimes doing the videos help me to get my own thoughts collected. And I always help, hope that they'll help someone else too who may be having a slim, similar moment whenever they happen to see whatever video. And my husband even came out and he kind of talked to me and he knows... Like we're all working together kind of as a family on our perspectives and shifting and stuff. And um, it, it was nice to actually talk to him and kind of sort through all of that first and, and then make the video. And so do I feel exactly as aligned and centered as I did leaving the house this morning and you know, joyful? Probably not. There's, uh, you know, there's still a little of residual <sighs> sigh. <laughs> but most of that has passed and dissipated. And I don't, like, I don't think it's wrong to have sat and broke down and cried and gotten a little mad and upset and everything. And But now I'm just like, I, I don't need that anymore. I'm going to just literally know that it's happening for a reason. And maybe I'll know the reason and maybe I won't. Maybe it will be obvious. Um, like how 
you know, having the home birth paid for would be obvious, or maybe it will be um, more subtle. But either way, I know that the universe is answering a, an original desire or something I asked for. And that's very new, and that's a new piece, and it's quite interesting to get to that point so rapidly. There, previously, I might have gotten to that point within, you know, a few, a day or two or three, but to sit down and have most of that happen within an hour or so and get to that point, I was like, wow, look at you, you're shifting. That, that's amazing. Keep it up. Like I can hear guides and ancestors going, girlfriend, <laughs> you're amazing. And I love that. And I love that I'm growing like that. And so, um, I really felt that was the right and opportune time to make a video because, um, that, it should be celebrated and making shifts like that need to be celebrated. Um, and that you can get to that point. And again, all the, all the players sat up at the table and said their emotions and had them, but I'm not sitting there and hanging on to them going, I must cling to you. I must be miserable for a certain amount of time, a preordained amount of time. Um, because otherwise I wasn't really miserable before. No, I felt like shit before. <laughs> I felt horrible and frustrated. But I don't now. I'm just like, okay, well, hmm. I mean, it sucks. And okay, but there's a reason for it. And I'm just going to trust that the reason will play out. And maybe I know, and maybe I don't know, but it will all be okay, because I'm always taken care of. What a beautiful, wonderful place to be. So I can go back inside and just chill and enjoy with my family. And I know I'll go to bed tonight, and there'll be probably a little bit of whatever. But it won't be that bad. It wouldn't have been like it would be if I kept going like this and spinning with it. I'm just like, no, I'm going to surrender. So there might not even be anything, and that's okay too. And I know I'll be able to wake up tomorrow morning, and and I'll go to bed at night, and I'll do my gratitudes, but I know I'm going to fall asleep doing them. <laughs> and I know I'm going to wake up in the morning and do my gratitudes, and do my visions, and, you know, and know that somehow this is playing a part in that. And that's okay. And I'm okay with that. So if you have any comments, I'd love to see, hear them, whatever. And I hope you're having a wonderful day too. Bye.